So for episode one, we've got a special guest star, which is Melanie Pappenheim. Now, some of you may know Melanie as the voice of the Doctor's theme all the way back from 2005. And I thought since we had the Doctor back in this world, that it would be really fun to have her come back. So what follows now is an interview that I did with Melanie, um, who has just recorded her stuff and I hope you guys really enjoy the discussions we had. We got to talk a little bit about her time doing Doctor Who and also what we did today. So yeah, enjoy. So Melanie, uh, welcome back to the universe of Doctor Who. How does it feel to be back in this universe singing again? Delightful. Thank you very much, Blair, for asking me back to um, revisit some of this fantastic music, which I haven't forgotten about, but um, I uh, spent the last few days revisiting some of the music and it's Truly beautiful. Um, well, I mean, Murray did an amazing job on, on that um, original Doctor's theme, which we brought back for this episode. Yeah. And um, it's as a, as a fan of, of the series and the music, it, it sends uh, a chill down my spine in a, in, in a good way, shivers. <laughs> I had goosebumps during the recording session, oh. you know, sitting in the recording booth. And watching you perform that again, it was uh, it was like being transported back in in time. It was ti- timey wimey, wibbly wobbly, <laughs> in the best possible way. Well, I'm very pleased to hear that. But it's beautiful, and you've done a very good job, I think. Um, oh, well. What I've heard so far. You're a woman of many talents, aren't you? You do all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Well, I like to think so, but on my way here, I was thinking that um, how many times I have sung aliens <laughs> or right. angels, or at the moment I'm I'm singing the part of the witches um, in Macbeth at the Globe yeah. Theatre. Yeah. I I've played an alien, but I think I might have done played the alien before I met Murray and sang the first Doctor Who right. series. Um, and that was for a BBC production. That's called. Um, the Alien, <laughs> um, and it was for a series called Mad About Music, which were a school's program. So some people might have seen that at school. And you, you wore a Doctor Who frock, didn't you? I wore a beautiful sort of yeah silver lame <laughs> frock. <laughs> so I got to go to um, the BBC studios with the costume designer, and she uh, to open the door into this enormous room which we just had row after row after row, rail after rail should I say of of BBC costumes going back you know decades and I could choose any one of those frocks so I I chose the silver lame dress (laughs) and wore my white contact lenses and had to sing backwards in that in that little film. I've worked with Damon Albarn. That was a highlight. That oh, was uh, in an opera which he devised called Doctor D. And again, I played a very strange angel character in that. Um, and I played Elizabeth the first. Oh. So I got to wear this fabulous dress and was flown up into the gods again, on stage. You know, historic figures, <laughs> angels, and then you've got Doctor in the title. You know. Yeah, I never get asked to be in pantomime or anything. I'm still waiting. <laughs> How did how did um how did Murray find you back in in the day in two thousand four two thousand five? When... I'm not sure. I suspect it was through um, the composer called Jocelyn Pook, who yeah. I've worked with for getting on for three decades now, who writes a lot of film scores, and I work with on theatre and all sorts of projects, dance. Yeah. I remember you telling me you, you you can still remember recording that that theme, the Doctor's theme back then, can't you? Um, with with Murray, all those. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, the very early recordings um, we recorded in his in his very nice flat, not far from here, I think. Yeah. Um, and it was a lovely flat, but it was quite small. And he had a very large mixing desk in right. his room, and not enough room for me and him and the mixing desk. So I 
I was next door in the bathroom, which doubled up as a kind of sound booth. <laughs> which, which, which gives it that, you know, sort of yeah, interesting quality. Exactly, you know? Yeah, exactly, natural reverb. I think that runs through it. It's imagination triumphs over yeah. technology, well, in a funny way, over technology. I know you're using a lot more technology than yeah. in the early days, but it's funny because those little accidents throw up all sorts of... Well, yeah, I mean, they did, they did use a lot of technology in the early days. There was uh, the Radiophonic Workshop was, were incredibly yeah. innovative. Um, yeah. And they used oscillators to create tones before synthesizers yeah. even existed. Yeah. So what they were doing in some ways was, I mean, I'm trying to capture the, mm. the creative spirit of what yeah. they were doing, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's so impressive but you um, can sort what of, they did. Sort of, you're kind of aware of the human involvement in that, aren't you? And the, the sense yeah. of experimentation there. It's, yeah. um, it's, it's sort of there, like kind of in the ether, yeah. I think. Yeah. And I think Murray definitely carried that on. And brought it up to date, and and you've 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 you know got the torch, <laughs> <laughs> and taking it on to the future. It's fantastic, yeah. So, you will help these amazing humans here, and these amazing humans will help you. How? I can't fire weapons. I can't use swords and knives. Speaking of Daleks, I remember you telling me that you, you came across some Daleks. You were walking um, through the Pinewood. I said. was, yeah. I used to. Um, I was born um, just outside London, quite near Slough. I used to go walking around Langley Park. I hope I didn't imagine this. I don't think I imagined it. <laughs> it could have been a nightmare. I'm sure a lot of kids had nightmares about Daleks when, yeah. they, were, uh, when well, they were growing up. Yeah, and I used to watch a lot of Doctor Who as a child. We like um, to hear that. Of course. And um, I think there was a, it was very overgrown, this park. There were lots of rhododendrons everywhere and lots of undergrowth. Lovely it's good yeah, <laughs> thickets and they used to disappear off. And I remember coming up against this um, rusty old perimeter fence. And on the other side of that, there seemed to be a street a, a western from a western broken old saloon bar doors and um, fallen off the hinges and so on. And um, and there was a pile of Daleks at the bottom of the street. Pile of Daleks. <laughs> By the fence. Pile of Daleks. Now that's a strange thing to dream about. So it's I think it must. Amazing image. I think it, amazing image. We yeah. were, so we, I remember when I spoke to you on the phone, you said you, you wish you'd taken a picture. But yeah, no mobile, mobile phones in those days. But right. uh, yes, it's emblazoned in my mind, that memory, that, um, that image. So you've got another treat for us. You've brought along some of your <laughs> original scores from... I have. Yep. Doctor Who from I the have. prom and the first ever can hold hold this one up from the, the camera. This this one here is the one DW nineteen. That's from the first ever episode of Doctor Well, the first ever episode of New Who yeah. um, of season one of this. Oh, there it is. That is that that's the first ever yep. that would be the first thing one I, DW one. That I clapped eyes on. So that's the episode. The episode number there is the one, and then that's the name of the queue. One DW one, and that I have. And then that's Melanie, nice. That's Melanie. very nice that he put my name on that. At least I think it's my name. Melanie, <laughs> Melanie, Melody. To me. <laughs> Doctor Who. Just in case you're in any doubt, what it is. <laughs> There's the Doomsday score. Ah, Doomsday. Which was, Doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> which I is sang at the. Um, many people have cried. Yeah, it's such a listening beautiful listening beautiful to this this wonderful piece of music and that wonderful moment on the beach. I remember I remember watching that. And um, yeah. emotional, very yeah. emotional. So I sang that in Wales at the um, Millennium Hall, oh, yeah. where recently I also performed, but I was a corpse in the middle of the auditorium, so oh, wow. that's another strange thing I did. <laughs> you love the strange. Yeah. You love the strange. Singing corpse in the middle of the Millennium Hall. <laughs> so as I was lying there listen, um, singing this very different piece of music, I, was, I had memories of singing at that, that term. It was a Children's Knee concert, I think. Oh, wow. Um, and David Tennant was there, and uh, yeah, it was fabulous. Seeing that live with an orchestra is such a thrill. Yeah. Well, 
thank you very much mm. for coming along today. Thank oh. you for making an amazing cameo on the score. I'm yeah. so pleased with thank how you. it sounds. Thanks for it asking sounded, me, really. You know, it sounded wonderful. And thank you for bringing these along mm. and for telling us a little bit about your work and what you do. That's a pleasure. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>